Penduk, I'm telling you, man, this coco melon is going to be the death of us, dog. Huh? Yo, yo, yo. My daughter, when she wakes up, she she doesn't know what it means. So she doesn't know the name coco melon. It's 14 hours. All she says is, Mama, man. Mama, Mama man. So she wakes What's up. What's coco melon? You don't know coco melon? It's I... like uh, the new school... Spongebob. Teletubbies. Yeah, Teletubbies. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. There's always a season of a particular Popeye. It's Coco Melon season now. Bro, when she wakes up, Mama Man. She, she hasn't even oh, bathed. She hasn't yeah, even Mama yeah. Man. That's mm-hmm. beautiful. Every five minutes, Mama Man. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Man. I've, I've seen literally, because remember, your daughter is like almost, it's just a, a little older than my daughter as well. My daughter doesn't know Coco Melon because I just refuse. Mm. Like she will not watch Coco Melon. Why though? Um, because it literally it, that thing is like a drug for hey, babies. It's, it's a drug. It's a oh. drug for babies. It's like cocaine for them. Seen, yeah, but they keep them occupied. Oh, yeah. Yeah. but Wait. they can't be watching, my man. They can't be watching for hours. Like she knows how to do it on the TV now. Even yeah. what's wrong with it? Is it teaching bad things? No. Not necessarily. No. Toxic? No, it's no. not. It's just like your kid can't be consuming so much. But sh- Screen Screen time Because oh, okay, that means okay. now You're going to have to put it on your phone It's TV And then I've seen with families Like wait, uh, uh, now you've, You're have literally controlled by this little kid You can't watch TV You Or your own channel no, You no, have to watch It's your TV Walk Come on Oh They don't throw tantrums Yeah, yeah. Once, they, twice It's a drug dog It's a drug. Like that. Once, twice, three times, four times but that's Fifth a... time she knows it's the law And you the law In the house Sumbo No It's like my kid one. Like I got Pambi them were doing, you know? She would cry first, second time, third time. Now she just goes to the back seat. I used to force her to put on the seat belt. Now she just does it. That's that's kids. That's how they like, are. I get it, yeah. I know, I get it. It's 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 that's what they, like, change, also man. I'm the same with like inst- instilling like discipline yeah. with my with my kids. I'm yeah. also the same. But it also some parents you just feel like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. And that it's, it's fine. Already now the child is out of control. You know, my nah, thing is, uh, I used to hate uh, listening to the radio and niggas are talking about their kids. Like, I just found it weird, man. Like, yo, man, we all have kids. Like, why are you talking about your kids? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But I just had to mention that because, like, I realized it's not just me, bro. Like, people are going through the same shit. It's yeah. the new Peppa Pig, yeah? Yay. Yes. Yes. Ah. Oh, you you went through a Peppa Pig phase, ne? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Peppa Pig, yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Can I can I talk about my my kids for the last time? Okay. Yeah, yeah, bro, you're gonna talk about you, you're gonna talk about them for a very long, a long time. Long time. You know, so, so go ahead. So we bring back Chilla's punch. <laughs> yo yo. Ziggy's like, Dad, can I have a sip? I'm like, no, 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 no. This is uh, Chilla's punch. You can't have a sip. It's for adults. Uh. And then he's like, but I'm a chiller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I was like, I'm a chiller. Yeah, Mac, I'm a chiller. Yeah, Mac, I'm a pinch, I'm a chiller. Yeah, Mac, I'm going to eat your food there. I'm a chiller. Yeah, like, I'm a chiller, Dad. Bro, but what shout out you to you, dog. Shout out to you, dog. What, what, what Remember uh, the previous episode? Yeah. You said, are you going to, are you sure it's going to be in first law? Yeah, when you said it's going to be in every pick and pay, yes. Bro, because of you, it wasn't going to be in first law. Oh yeah, because the store is very small. Yeah, so yeah, they put it out. Store. Yeah, they put it out in all the big stores. But because of what you said, they put it at uh, at Foslo. Oh fuck! Oh, Shout out to me. No. Because of what you said, uh, no. so I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Come on now. You're looking out for all the first law people. That's nice. I'm as ever can and pay, pay, pick and pay. Eh? So what happened is. Um, when we started the agreement, because it's exclusive at Pick and Pay, yeah. Chillers Punch, right? Yeah. So we're like, all right, cool. We're going to launch 1st of December. Yeah. We sat down with the team. They ordered a small amount. Oh, that right? same. That we're thing. like, uh, guys, do you guys, know? listen to us. We yeah. know how it chillers. Yeah. Listen to us. And order five times more uh-huh. than this. Because, trust me, the demand is going to be crazy. Okay. We know the movement. We know what we're talking about. But you know corporates. No, 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 no. I know corporates, but at the same time, how many times have they heard that same speech from other people other pitching people, their yeah, products? Yeah. And yeah. then the performance is underwhelming. People tend to over-deliver and uh, over-promise, under-deliver. So Friday, 1st December, we launched Chiller's Punch. Yeah. Within an hour, the mm. MD called. Mm. Heads Yo. are rolling there, pick and pay, bro. Whoa, damn, MD bro. called. And he's like, I want seven more. 
Jesus. Ah. The demand was crazy, bro. But also, you made a lot, bro. Like, um, as far as the units, when yeah, I saw you from December, yeah, the yeah. 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 how many did you go out with at launch? Um, so, 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 all the pick and pays, they ordered a thousand cases. Imagine. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell. You know, and that sold out. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, bro. First day, yeah. yeah. Uh, Fuck. That is beautiful, but, 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 but this week, they're rolling out to more stores because okay. now they see the power. Yeah, 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 of the chillers. But didn't they learn from Shout Grand Chua? Why were they yeah. doubts? Didn't they learn from Grand Chua? Yeah. I know, but chillers punch is different because okay. remember, it's not a bottle. It's like... You so yeah, so mono clip or you can get three or four, right? Exactly. So yeah, as opposed to people don't have like disposable income like that. A lot yeah. of them just so shout out to the buy. chillers. You got the MD of pick and pay too. Yeah. <laughs> hey. They even put out a statement, dog. Did you see the statement? Real, no. Yo. <laughs> statement. Let me no. read the statement to you. Beautiful. I didn't see it, uh. bro. They saw the part, and we told them, we're uh. like, guys. We trust in the storm chillers. is coming. A yeah. storm is coming. Prepare yourself. They're like, ah, a we'll chill see. storm. Yeah. Uh, in cool, look he, he, so this is from the pick and pay account. Mm. They said, "Hi, thank you for reaching out to us. We do apologize for the no stock inconvenience. Whoa. We are getting more stock to our hub today, so we'll be delivering stock to your region by beginning of next week. We hope this information is helpful. Have a get have a great day further." But niggas, heads are rolling there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's my very last day. They'll learn, they'll learn, they'll learn. I don't think they'll make that mistake again. Uh, so so it brings me to, do you think corporate respects this platform? No, they don't. They don't. Because they don't consume it, obviously. It's mostly white people, you know? Yeah, but I mean, if you see the the the, the numbers of the platform... If you see, I mean, shout out to Striped Horse. Yeah, you know, they're the first to like, get it. They get it, and but it, 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 to it be only honest, after, bro, wait, there wait, should so. be corporate sponsors here. They the same shit touch said like two years ago already. You know what I mean? But wait, Striped Horse. They don't see the power. And saw so the much power, power after Sunbet. But oh. they were invested before Sunbet. They were invested, but after Sunbet, they're like, let's extend it for six months. Nice, because mm. it was still trial and period. You know, wow. to see. Mm. And now, bro, like if we go, they're like, where's the striped rose? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So they 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 shout out to them, man. Yeah. Shout out to Pick and Pay for taking a chance on us yep. as well. You know, Definitely. sometimes not even like maybe corporates as companies, just individuals in the company. Some maybe are anti podcasts. You know, there's a lot of people who are anti podcasts. There's a far greater number that's for the podcast, but some people will then gatekeep. You know, a particular brand manager, marketing manager to access the podcast, even though they know the power of it. Maybe just they don't like what we do and our style of doing the th- uh, what nah, we do. I don't agree with you. I agree with you what you, what you said earlier, saying that how many people say to them, listen, it's going to sell out. Mm. And then they overstock and then nothing moves. Nothing happens, yeah. So they get that, you know, like it's like when you make music, every producer thinks their song is a hit. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you get what, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's... Mm. That, yeah, and that's but, a problem. But I got a hit for the summer, eh? Hey! No, no. Wele, wele. Wele, wele. Wele, We're rocking, eh? Wele, wele is beautiful, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, you drop the piano... <laughs> you drop a piano EP and that artist's song is not even piano on the EP. It's three-step. Wele, wele is the most beautiful song there, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's the most beautiful song. It's beautiful. We did a mix at the Sofeng. Shout out to everybody that came out to Sofeng. We'll drop it Saturday, eh? Saturday. Yeah, we'll drop the, the mix on Saturday. Ooh. Anyway. Henda, buddy, man. Drop it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. So Paducah is here. Cos Ladies here. Dudu's here. Tato is here. Nawa is here. Uh, Fat Checkers here. Simpiwa is here. Where's Tibla, bro? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Limpopo. What's he doing in Limpopo? <laughs> What's his EMB Stratul? What does that mean, dog? It's what does that a, there's mean? a story, guys. Yeah. Why? Like... What do you mean? Does he have a charity drive that he's doing? Ang Zushawa, gents. Oh, I'm a I'm a I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a why? Lying. Why? why he's no, lying. he's lying. He's lying. There's something. Connor uh, Shaman, because why can't you courier them? Why can't you courier the shoes? <laughs> why does he need to go there and stay there for <laughs> two weeks? <laughs> 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 what does that mean? No, he bought shoes, which he's taking home. So he couldn't come record because he has to take shoes home? Yeah. He couldn't take them tomorrow? Nah. He couldn't courier the shoes? He couldn't courier? Nah. 
Cory Aquino e ele é um pouco. Yo yo, for me understanding, what does Amit Kutulu mean? It sounds like a ritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. No. Like, let's like, get a machara. Let's <laughs> get a machara. You know, like those rituals. Solandiko. Yeah, yeah. Solandiko. Yeah, yeah. yeah but can I have a little bit of food? Yes. What do you What do you think? No, can be, I feel like it's maybe it could also mean that it's literally just like it's a uh, it's just an he went to Limpopo for nothing. Like Uhambisi Gatu, it's just a, you know, it's like get too much for nothing. No, remember he said Uhambisi Gatu. Yes. And then these ones were like you are talking too much. Yeah. And then he started yes. saying, yes. Eh, he just oh, went to deliver okay. the shoes. So there's something deep. Ah, you want to see your shoulder or something like? Or maybe it's so someone's shoes. So that's why I'm talking about this. So technically, Uhambisi Gatu is young. He's scared. He's fagging. He's fagging just a corner. But good luck. But not just a corner. Not just a maximum. I think I nailed it. Yeah. I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it. Because now it doesn't have Definitely. Not the guys are quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I nailed it. So much of us have a sick guy sitting. Some music cartoon. Yeah. When you're going home. Yeah. La Matimona attest. Best me actually a war. I call it. I'm a test when it's yam. Really wants to know how to be sick cartoon. Just like you take your car in for service. Exactly. Yeah. Cartoon is doing service. Yeah. Yeah. Service is very clean. Now it's usual. Who feel a light? Yeah, let's call. Let's call him, John. Yeah, let's not tell him. Let's call him. Yes, let's call him. I'll connect it. I'll connect it. If someone has a good idea, my dad will know what I said. I'm busy. Cartoon. Not as one, my man. Yeah, he cartoon. He got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, never, never. Just tell spews or tell a lie. We call him for his fun. His fun and fun. Ah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's call him, man. Let's call him. Now it's funny when we say "cutul." Yeah, now it's funny. Hey, now it's when we say "cutul." Me, let's call him. Let's check him. He's clean, we. I'm a scrap. I'm a crocs weight. Yeah, I'm a crocs weight. I'm a hamburger bun. I'm coming. Ah, what's up, man? Network. Funny lah. You're calling who? You're calling straight. This is Tibla, ne? Okay. Sure, sure. Tibla, Grand Poison. Ah, sharp, sharp. You're live on the air, Poison. What's up? Since we're going to one business to two, what does that mean? Yeah? One is Katul. One is Katul. One is Katul. One is Katul. Katul is Zagaban. But two, one is Katul. Okay, why are you not here? Why are you not here? Why are you not here? I went home. There's, there's something at home. Like, uh, Tombstone and Veiling. What, what's going on at home? It's a Tombstone and Veiling. There's Tombstone and Veiling. There's unveiling. Ah, but Black Studio said one is Katul. One is Katul. I... I don't know what that's talking about. <laughs> you know, when I only said fucking, that's how you, yeah. you know what they told about. I don't know what they fucking mean. Ah, okay. Loyal fucking. Loyal fucking. Matt, let's be honest. You want me to start to know what does it mean? I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so did you take all your shoes, man? <laughs> who, 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 said, who, who said that? Who said that? I, I, I yeah, yeah. got to Simpy. <laughs> I they must tell you what they're talking about. I don't know. Umboni no moon to rappel in pop. Who my girlfriend? Yeah, I I I I did see her. Shayko, no man. Mo what are they talking about? Mo buya, engfunis tatulo zako poison. What is yamba kren? I wanna walk a mile in your shoes. I I I I I they must tell you what they're talking about. Me, I'm not I'm not involved. <laughs> All right. Who 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 who's the tombstone unveiling for? Uh like uh my brother Tibra, he's 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 from like his family side. Like I don't really know them. So oh. I just came. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that till this day no one knows what happened to Blackie, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's sad. sad. And it's actually 
Today was, was, was actually the day he passed away. No way! Wait. Today! Yes. Second of, today uh-huh. was the day yeah. Blackie passed away. Second of December. Yes. By the way, if you're a new chiller, not Blackie, the artist, uh, Blackie, the guy who used to work for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, was it today? Yeah, it was today. Hey, man, I miss Blackie, man. Hey, Ish. Uh, I miss Blackie. Yeah, yeah. Man. All right, go Actually, say... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see his parents too. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, say say, say hi to, yeah, to, yeah, to the parents, no? Yeah, yeah. All right. Who's <laughs> that? Let's go to the list. Who's that? <laughs> Good luck with the shoes. Man. Good luck with the shoes. <laughs> what shoes? <do> you <laughs> oh, is that why uh, ne- uh, Neo has the tattoo? You didn't. A ne- blacky tattoo? Yeah. Oh, you got a blacky tattoo. Oh, nice. Oh, oh you got a black studio. But he got it today. So now it's like, oh. So why didn't the other guys get the tattoo? Oh, it's his company. Ah. Oh, are you the new mesh? <laughs> 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 oh, it's the B, right? Oh, that's dope, man. That's dope. Shout, Shout out, out, man. Yeah. Shout out. When are you getting your podcast to do so? Hey, come on, man. It's for me. 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 Yo, fuck out of here. You have Matt's face on your chest. <laughs> Imagine. Yo, yo, lay down my face, foot. Oh, what's up? So far, you can't say it. You can't say it. Uh-uh, no way. <laughs> what the fuck? What the pictures? <laughs> so I'm watching uh, uh, UEFA Champions League halftime when Arsenal was playing. Yeah. Guess what song they played, bro? Gundin. Ah, I wish. <laughs> Tyler, Water. Oh, but why is it a surprise? Bro, that's massive, bro. That's like the biggest, one of the biggest songs in the world. Mm. Literally. Yo, it's her time, man. Yeah. Talk to on Billboard. She's, she's like the biggest pop yep. star. Yeah, yeah, literally. Right globally. Now. Fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, bro. bro. Like, yeah. Yo. And you know she's in the country, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Guys, I was about to say, man, we must uh, have Tyler on the show. Nah, she's too young, man. She must still do a lot of things, man. Her journey has just started. Relax. What do you mean? Yeah, and we'll, we'll be part of it. What are you nah, doing? we want to... Like we're going to kill a career or something. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm yeah. saying right now, if she were to come, like, there's not much to talk about. You know? Let her enjoy the journey. Makushuba. Then she'll come. You know, she's still got to go to PDD's house and see what happens there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Tyler, yeah, 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 yeah. stay away yeah, yeah, from please. PDD's house, Tyler. Uh, she must not. Tyler, please. Like, I don't feel like we'd get much now because it's just starting. That's the I way see. I see okay, it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, Ivan Bella, Papa, that you, makes sense. You know what I mean? Okay, fair enough. I, 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 I still think there's a lot to talk about, but it's cool. Well, yeah. what are you going to talk about? Okay, Grammy nomination, the song's big, she was with Chris Brown. The travels, yeah. Yeah, travels. travels. There's still the more, story, bro. The story, man. There's still know? more, bro. Let her live, mm-hmm. let her live. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, a record label's still got to fuck her up. You know, all those things. I see what you mean. Okay, cool. Mm. But, but man, you... Americans are, well, are so ignorant. Do You saw that whole colored thing, right, with her? Huh? Well, remember in America, colored is like a um, pejorative term. It's like a, 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 it's like a bad word. Like nigger? Sort of, yeah. Um, it's a bad word to say someone is, is colored, right? But with us, it's literally... A group of people. It's a. It's a. It's a normal it's our term. way of saying mixed. Yes, it's our own way of, like, of yeah. saying mixed, right? And uh, the, so when she also, called herself yeah. colored, they were like, "No, that's we don't use that word this side." But we're like, "No, well, she's not American. She's South African." And here, colored speaks to people of mixed descent between white and black. You know, and Americans are like all up in arms. But she's. Insisting as she should that she's colored because that's what she is. Bro, I love doesn't change because she's in America. Bro, I love that about her. She's that even real, when eh? she does the interview, she still represents. She's like, I love pop, mm-hmm. and they're like, What is pop? Yeah, yeah shout out to the real one. Because most most people, uh, not even most entertainers, yeah. when they go to America, they wanna be, uh, 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 they wanna. Conform to the American standards yeah. And the Americans are not looking for that Because when I was in Miami, right yeah. I met these girls who work for uh, uh, Donald Trump uh, They gave me this hat, by the way This one So they work for Donald Trump This is African, right? 
South and they Africans said, are looking for Trump. Yeah, at the Mar Mar Lago. At the Mar Lago. Okay. Fuck. Google Mar Lago. What is it? It's a palace, dog. Palace. Beautiful. So they worked for him, and they said Nasty C had been there two weeks before mm. to launch whatever he was launching, and the Americans. They asked him, so what do you think about... Because obviously, as Africans, we love Nasty C. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, we champion him. Yeah. So they asked the Americans there, like, what do you think of Nasty C? And the Americans was like, ah, he's all right. He's cool. Right? You know what I mean? And then one of the DJs, I don't know what happened, but one of the DJs played... Oh, 17, yeah. Zakwe. Yeah. 17, yeah. 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 They were like, yo, what is this? This yeah, is fire. Exactly. Yes. And when you play, and that's what I'm not a fan of him, but Nota was saying when you play Zulu Man with Power, just sharing the title, you're expecting that. Yes. Right? Yeah. And you don't get it. You get something very, very American. Yeah. Yes. Or quasi American. So that's what I like about Tyler, that she hasn't changed and transformed and tried to be American that side. Like she's mm. still South African, and that's why we love her. You know what I mean? Yeah, and she should remain because. Like you're saying, they want a different flavor. Yeah, if you're ima, 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 a foreign artist, they want to see something exotic about you. Imagine an American nigger coming to SA and then trying to do the whole piano thing. Like, show, show, fit, my fit, crap. You know, it wouldn't land, dog. It's like, yo, dog, we know you're not from here. You know what I mean? It just, mm. it's very just... Whatever but the then again, is. Americans have more influence than piano, for example, or any of our genres to the point that people are able to master it from across the shores. Unlike hip hop, where Stogie raps better than a lot of American guys. Mm -hmm. So it's also an influence kind of thing. And to be honest, if an American came here and killed piano, that's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> no. That would be impressive. Don't lie. That would be impressive. We're impressed with T.I. Nah, uh, you so... Know? Like, like... No, no, I'm talking about proper piano. Okay. Like, you know? No, Like, so. the rap, like, Spitori. An American oh. speaking Spitori. Isn't that but impressive? But you can't, you can't teach that, bro. It's, it's, it's rooted in your genes, bro. No. But right? Americans have taught the entire world how to speak. What do you mean, how to speak? Like, or, or influence how people speak, how they sound... When you say a car is a whip, for example... Oh, or no cap. Or yeah. no cap, exactly. You know what I mean? That's the influence it's of Hollywood. Influence. That's the influence of it's America. It's a fact. Yeah. yeah, but I'm talking about where it originated from. If you go to America and try to be American, it's not going to land. Bro. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing they haven't seen So heard. we are South African. We birthed Ama Piano. You're from America. Yes, you are inspired mm. by the sound. But when you come here and try sound like a young star now, that's disingenuous. But wouldn't it be disingenuous for a, a, a nasty C who's always rapped in English, went to private schools in South Africa, has always immersed himself in an American culture, and then goes to America and suddenly raps in Vanak? That would be, but that's what I'm saying, Uri, that's not the way to go. Like, if you're going to America and you want that market, you got to be different. I agree with you 100%. But... She, in being different, you still need to be yourself. And Nasty C is not a rapper who raps from front, from song one to last song in Vanak. And he can't force that out of him because he's not like that. He wasn't built like that. So maybe the problem was trying to launch in America, you know, as opposed to maybe they should have whoever identified Nasty C as someone exportable. They should have done the the remix. <laughs> But also, in his defense, I agree, I'm playing devil's advocate, but sure. in his defense, he can't be who he's not. Yeah. He can't be who he's not. He's not a Zaku. He's not a pro. He's not a quester. He can't be that. That's not his, his comfort zone. What, what do you think, Kirsty? I'm um, also, again, is it also not a problem that sometimes Americans expect, just because you're from Africa, they expect like... The Must they get a pant? Yeah. Food. Let's Dude, be honest. Exactly. So it's almost like, and even when you, there's an expectation for you to sound African, it's almost like it's an expectation, expectation of being primitive, you know? And They think it, it's yeah. coming to America, Eddie Murphy. Exactly. You're going to be trained <laughs> yeah. in leopard skin. Because let's be honest, even that you see how they got interested with that, that sound. It was, it's, it, it's that... Clicks. And it's like, you actually... No. Sometimes it's even a mockery. No. You're making a mockery out of it, 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 it's, it's appreciation of something different. Because I remember I was watching uh, KO's BET thing. He was he he, he, he he documented the journey of going to the BETs, right? So there was a scene where he was performing at a pre-party. And he started with, um, what's that song? Um, 
Tung, tung, tung. The, the song that was big. Minangang Javanging, Talangan, and another. Yeah, yeah. Karakar. Karakar, 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 yeah. <laughs> so he started with Karakar. Uh-huh. And the crowd was like on their phones, bored, mm-hmm. whatever. Then when he dropped. Ania. Sete. Sete. The crowd was like, yo, what's this? Uh-huh. And they were vibing. So it's not even about a mockery, it's about. They the ear they're trained they, they listen to hip hop all the time, bro. Yeah. But when they hear something different, it's like, whoa, what is this? Okay. That's why Afro beats are so big. Because mm-hmm. it's a different sound. Yeah. And Nigerians are not trying to imitate Americans. Americans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the way I see it. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I can I, I understand. I understand. I'm just like sometimes I've also just this my own feeling as well. It's just that sometimes it's also feels a bit, you know. I just he, he can't be who he's not, but it, also then he could have incorporated via features, you know, um, like the seventeen. That guy's on the chorus. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you could have had guys like that, and and and. But you know, also, but it's hey, about but it's about him. What does he want? Yeah. yeah. What does he want? Exactly. What does he want? It's, yeah. it's his album. It's his work. Oh. He needs to be proud to put it out there. And if it's it's not me. Appeasing him via what he's hearing, then what's the objective? Hey man, so we're shooting our piano wrapped. Uh, I was with your old manager, Fiso. Yeah, oh, he yeah, says we've he... gone very corporate. Do you guys agree with that? In what sense? In yeah. sense of like, we, 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 we uh, sugarcoat a lot of things. Such as? Such well, as, like, given examples. Like when we speak, it's always like, oh, allegedly, oh, we don't know. Do you guys think? We yeah. tried, he said, uh, we, are we careful? Yes, like we've gone corporate, careful. like we're safe now. Nah, I was. I found that bizarre, bro. Allegedly, it's been a word we've been using since the beginning, because it always, it's always been like. So, that. and, and what I was saying to him is, what I was saying to him, what I was saying to him is like, bro, we come here to speak the truth, right? Yeah. yeah. Like we can't make up shit for the sake of making up of shit. Be controversial. If yeah. celebrities are behaving, they're behaving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and we've never set out to be like, let's be controversial. You know what I mean? Let's do this. You know, that's exactly. fake. That is fake. I we've found that very bizarre, that. bro. Nah, man. We st- I think we still speak our mind. We yeah. still speak our mind. Where we speak about things and our opinions of things. Because we, we, it's honesty, authenticity. Yeah, right? yeah. So when I ask you something, that's your truth. Yes. yes. But now you're not going to just make shit up because of ratings or whatever. No. no. You know? No, I don't know. You, How do you guys you, feel? We can't just come you here and say... You with us since... You know, we beginning. can't just come here and say, Arthur's our PD. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, come on. Ah. Hey, show me up. It's oh. in the fun. Hey. Hey, show me. Hey. Show me. Hey. He's a hey. nice hey. fun. He's a nice hey. hey. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You hey. can't just come out here and say oh, shit. And say things like that. Yeah, right? true though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Sfiso, you know, he's for that. You know, it's like, just speaks. Man, I'm brutally honest. But we're still an honest punch, man. Yeah, nah, man. I, don't, I don't think that's Just true. from out of the blue. Because, Slade, what nah, you got for us, true. man? Are the celebrities behaving? <laughs> Are they behaving? <laughs> They're asking for privacy. Well, how do you feel when <laughs> celebrities ask for, like, please just give us privacy? Fuck that, man. If you're a celebrity, it's fake game, bro. Yeah, true. Work at a call center then. It comes with, it comes yeah. with, as much as there's benefits to you being a public figure, there's the other side as well and it comes with it. You must take it on the chin. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, um, I'm actually asking that in regards with, so Faith Getsy released a statement that officially um, they, just, they are divorced with her husband, O Unjilo. And she put out a statement and obviously... Bro, is that guy really a scammer? Like, yeah. For real? Like, well, that's public knowledge? Yeah. Well, I'm from a court now. So yeah, they're going for, through for court. Things, yeah, because yeah. it's almost like she even got to a scammed by him as well. For real? Yeah. And like, guys, we're not just saying this just... No. Because of what Twitter's saying and whatnot. No. Like, she, it's a real on thing. On her show. On well, the show, I remember watching... that are saying they got scammed by him. Yeah, by for him. real? Yeah. Damn. So it's, it's like it's he sold. In the papers. He a made fact. himself a middleman. Like there's a truck. He, he's selling someone a truck. Whereas and got the funds, and then was like, go collect the truck. And then when the person arrived at the dealership, like, uh, uh-uh, no, no transaction. There's no truck here for you know. So that's how a person got, like, ah, sold you in faith, then. 
No, faith. That's how. That's the. That's that's how the issues started. When I think um, she had bought. Basically, it's like this statement? guy was allegedly using her money to for, to buy things. I don't like. It's hence now she even got scammed by this man. You know. Oh. But she deserves it. Why is she uh, looking she for a guy with money? It, like. Eh? Why? She doesn't deserve it. She like she. They started. They, she was in love. They were in a loving relationship. This guy actually lied to her. How can you deserve one when you're entering a no, relationship? No, no, but ghost lady, ghost lady, if your whole basis of getting into a relationship with someone is based on money, and then you, it turns out that guy was lying all along, you deserve it. No, but I'm just saying the basis wasn't her basis. She, I she, what, she like entered, I get what you're saying, but she entered that relationship for love. They were in love. Okay, so now he's a scammer and he doesn't have money. Why can't you still love him? But you, because he's a scammer. So unscam him. Through thick and, and thin. thin. Through thick uh, and thin. No, but unless, unless Kolo Pansi, you know what I mean? You saw. No, I'm just what I mean. You scare me. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot of the girls, let's be honest, who date Yahoo boys. Oh, by the way, um, he's out of prison now. Um, slash puppy. Oh, for real. Yeah. Hush, uh, puppy. Hush, puppy. Hush, hush or slash? Hush. hush. hush yeah, he's out of prison. <laughs> Yeah, so slash girls who date puppy. those <laughs> slash puppy. <yeah. laughs> so girls who date those kind of guys, no. Mm. Sometimes, you know, Guti Ale, he's a Yahoo boy. You know what I mean? Mm. He runs his business online and scams people from all over the world. They know that some of them, but we don't know what the conversation was between the two of them. But if it was, there, yeah, I'm a scammer, then yeah, you know what I mean. Right through, be right through the whole scamming thing if she knew. But we don't know. That's the thing. Yeah. You don't know, you know. Right. But I get what Mac is saying, cause when I'm a type of worker, they are in it for the money. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And half of the times they don't even ask. Would it like once I learn how's mm. this money coming from? Mm. Where is it coming from? And then they don't want to know the truth, cause they know something untoward is happening oh, behind yeah. the scenes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when it blows in your face, you deserve it, quite frankly. If you figured out Naga was a scammer, would you leave him? To what extent? Would though? you leave the comfort he has provided? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, believe I'll help him. I, I believe I'll help him there and there, you know, and see how how bad is the scamming, you know, and then. And what do you I mean, mean, how bad the scamming is? How bad is it? Because she's a wife, dog. Yeah. You're in it for life, right? Yeah. So I, that's why I'm saying I'll, I'll find out. Okay. You, you didn't kill anyone. You, yeah, what yeah. are you doing? Okay. And then, um, all right, let's... So it shows she was in love with the money. If you're a wife, dude, yeah. Yes. Sometimes, you sometimes you know... And you these are the chance, hardships. Then... To, to be honest, sometimes, you know, when they say you have to go through it, that, that, that hardness or they have to fight through the bad. Sometimes that's the bad, you know. It's bad decisions that people make along the way. And look, you just stick by Wait, wait, wait. No, no, wait. wait. Man, look, no, I mean, look, look at Tolle Mo. Look at Tolle Mo. Mm -hmm. uh, he... Got with Mome, yeah. they had the allegations thing. Mm -hmm. She's still stuck with him. Exactly. Mara, if she was with Mome, if Tolles Mo for the money, it would have been like, the exactly. well is dry now. Yeah, yes. I'm, out. I'm out. Yeah. I'm, then you're, you're gone. <laughs> I'm going to get it. This one. It's snacks. But Mac. Also, the guys, let's not just blame Faith. The guy is responsible also. Because you said it. You can't marry an it girl. What was he thinking marrying an it girl? Because an it girl will up and leave whenever things start getting shaky. We know. As but much as they date, some date these Yahoo guys, they know that when the Yahoo money stops, they're Googling another nigga. You know what I mean? So now I'm thinking he, she can take Umuto Jalo and wife. So I don't think he, he was in his mind thinking that man, the money's going to dry up. He's probably thinking I'm successful for life. And obviously for the ego as well, I must be with the with the hottest girl in the game. As a guy, ne, it's, it, it, it should always be behind the, you, your head. Uguti, what if? And you must know, Uguti, this person that I have here, like Mac. Mac knows that if, God forbid, shit were to go wrong and would lose it all, that lady will most likely still be with him. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys should think about it. About it Even yeah. if they're good and they'll probably be good for life, you should honestly look at your person and say, would they be here if everything was gone? Are, are you and there you with your person? The are mm -hmm. you there with your person? You at that level? I believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Because I met her 
Uh, in the in the trenches anyway, you know. What I mean? Where? Where Which trenches? <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> Son. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? I met my person. Why is that a joke? No, I'm saying, did Hilbert unite you? What, what's... No, it didn't. But like, I, I've met her f- fairly way back. Where did you meet her, Hilbert? Oh, she was walking past, and then um, I saw her walk past, and I went to go talk to her. Mm. You know, because I saw the goods. <laughs> I like the goods are there. I'm good to go, and that's it. You know. <laughs> Then we spoke. Ne? Yeah. Mm. So are you saying based on when you guys met each other? But in the corner. That's you know, the but way I'm gonna go I, to. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, she'd still be there if not if I had nothing. But you'd never truly know. But I believe she would, yeah. So what you're saying is based on when you guys met at the level that you were at. And we, you, and I wasn't down, down to be yeah, honest. When yeah. by the time I met her, but you're comfortable. I, I had, I'd been through my worst. I'd been through my worst. But you're comfortable, because it's like you're aligned. I'm told, if that makes sense. Does that I'm make sense? Told. It's like because I'm you told. met her in Hillbro. I could even mention Hillbro. So that that is very uh, sentimental. The fact because you didn't say you met her in Rosebank or wherever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But because of where you met her. And where you were in your life and where you've elevated it, you're still comfortable because she still met you when you were still in Hill, bro. Do you mm-hmm. hear me? No. Okay, uh, fetch it. Fetch it is good with this. Can you please explain what I'm trying to say? <laughs> she's, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> How am I good with this? Fetch it, please explain. You, you understand I what I'm trying I to say? I know what you're trying to go, I though. I hear you. Um, please do repeat your statement. I'm saying they, 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 they met in, 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 in Hill, bro, right? Cool. Elevate, elevate, elevate. But he's comfortable knowing that if all this elevation were to go away, because they made in Hillbro, he'll still be content. And that's why he's saying well, she'll still but this be... And can I be right honest, right? Brutally honest, there's a part of me that also says, if someone leaves you because you've lost everything, then so be it, really. Mm. Huh. You know? To me, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Then they weren't real, you know? Mm, mm, um, and... Everything that we've been through and that I've done is never a, th- a thing of trying to keep you. It's a thing of sharing what I have. 100%. It's not trying to keep you. And if I've lost that and I realize that, oh, that's what was keeping you, mm. then I via then, you know? In fact, there's a guy who, sp- who speaks about this. Remember the guy who used to act on Generations? Tabiso Muket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what character he played. Samuel. Samuel from Generations with the straight back from Raposo. He went through a patch like that and his wife left him. Huh. Well, he had nothing. And uh, his wife left him. I said, come down, thank you. I was like, you know what I mean? And you'll find good. It's not like he was out in the streets or anything, mm. you know? Mm. And so sometimes happens, it's a dog. blessing sometimes, bro. So what I'm saying is every man and woman should ask themselves, if I didn't have X and Y, would this person still be with me? You know what I mean? And sometimes not even financial. It's like, shit, if I lost my legs or if I, I got, I, f- I fell ill right now and lost my curves and my body as a woman, would this man still be with me? Because you can ask yourself myself, would would checker, still be with me? Fat Checker, would you still be with uh, Tato without the camera? <laughs> yeah, if you didn't have the black magic. <laughs> <laughs> Before I answer that, um, <laughs> Apparently, it's been stated that there's two sides of one story in terms of Tabiso Mokheti's side. So the wife hasn't spoken out, but people who are close to her saying that the allegations are false and that there are other reasons why I she believe him. Uh-huh. Ah. Hashtag, I believe him. <laughs> Hashtag, I believe him. I mean, We've I've seen it before, I the story. Believe yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, when, yeah, when, I believe her. When are we starting, I believe him? Yeah. Yeah. I believe you. I believe you, my man. You are doing nothing in that room at the end function. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe him. We've seen it. Why would I lie about that? Like, we've seen it happen before. Where Umjita, you've got stuff, and you don't have stuff, you are left. No, but there's all like this. The, what's powerful on this statement is there's two sides to every story. Because remember, when the one side is narrating, they make themselves the victim. Whenever you are telling someone about like whatever downfall or something that has happened to you, you narrate from your perspective though, but, and yeah. say, obviously, and make yourself the victim. And the, with with couples, that's the thing. But this shit has to stop, man. We're always roasting Tato. Now, can't do when What's happening? 
Never, never has any father the whole year, dog. Mm, he hasn't had a father. Go to the tattoo parlor. Get what, the okay, what happened to the chick we hooked you up with? Remember, we did a dating show for Neo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What happened to that girl? Yeah, what happened to that girl, dog? Uh, she's around. Yeah. She's still, you still, still see around. her? Nah, we're not, we're not dating. But do you just smash up? once or twice? Yeah. Nah, she's around. How many, yeah. time, how many times do you have sex a week, bro? A week? Mm. Ah, I can go through a week without sex. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. A month? I'm not, I'm not dating, though. A month? Nah, not a month. Mm. No, no, no. Why haven't you been with any of the beautiful ladies we've employed? How? I can't, I can't do that. This Why? Is, this is work. Exactly. So, that's, what did you tell your boy? <laughs> <laughs> and your colleague? <laughs> and your colleague? We've never had any stories about Neo talk. Nah, Neo's nose is clean. And it's not like he's hiding them. You know, he, he seems genuinely like that. Is he hiding that? Who's out of trouble. <laughs> Guys, why are you shocked? I suck tall on this. Suck tall. Why are you guys shocked if uh, when he says he can go for a week without sex? Why do guys have this thing of like as if yeah, you can't go? It's like you can't go. No, I yeah, think I, but... I, I think because Mac, I mean, is pretty much married. I'm in a relationship, so maybe that's why. But you, you can as Mji Davele, let's be honest. But I think it's because it's it's, when was it's such a sex, foreign bro? thing now of not having sex. When, when was the last time you had sex? Bro? Give him the mic there. Yeah? We never grill now, man. Yeah, dog. Like, when was the last time did you yeah. feel the warmth of okay, a woman? Okay, because this thing is playing on Monday, right? Yes. Oh, last week, yeah. Last week. Uh, yeah. With who? With who? Ah, uh, it does remember. Ah. He lives in Pretoria. Come on. Uh, well, obviously. What's the name? Somewhere. What's the name? Where did you get her? Okay, don't tell us the name. Where did you get her? Where did I? Get her. Is she a student? No, no, she's not a student. Oh. Is she older? No, no. Oh. What is she? I'm not going to say. Ah. <laughs> Was it the first time having sex with her? No. Oh. Yeah. Is so, she a cleaner? Does she clean for you? Or? No, I don't have a cleaner. So, where did you meet her? I'm mad at someone. <laughs> Are you condomizing with her? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so. And Sastani, Ganga, Wanasani, Ganga. No, dog, we're not in a relationship. So I'm not at the level where I have to have sex. That's or, responsible. That's who, who, who called who? Who called who? What do you mean? Did you call so her? So, what's the arrangement? Like, yeah. she, who called who? Did you call her? No, nah, she, she came called? through. She came through? Yeah. So she called you? Now we were texting. Why? Pillar talk. What do you guys talk about during um, pillar talk? Yo, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, man? <laughs> Tato, ta- ta- is this true? Do you know the person you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> ah, you wanted to say anything? <laughs> you saw the hands go up. Oh, this guy. No, it's so bad, yeah, boys. It's why are you so not bad, in a relationship, but... though? Why are you not in a relationship? I'm not, because there's no reason to. Yeah, that's a that's a difficult question. Yeah. It's, it's too many easy to is she, Maybe is she not in love with you? I go still wait a minute. Oh, you. Ghosty, have... It's not easy to be in a relationship. But it's not like, hey, why don't you have shoes? You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's a so relationship. So the the girl we got for you, why, why aren't you guys dating? What happened? Why didn't it work? Uh, nah. <laughs> why didn't it work? How many times did you sleep with a girl we organized here? <laughs> I don't know how many times. Yeah. I don't, but I don't you know. still, you, you're still vibing. Yeah. If you want ass, we should give it to you. I, I would like to respect, you know, people. I don't yeah. like to say if I want ass. No, no. Exactly. <laughs> like mean, you're not the, you're not the smashing guy type of guy. You're not you don't smash. Yeah. Don't smash the ass. Yeah. Okay. If yeah. she said, who's a la like, more more coitus. 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 Yeah. If you wanted the coitus, <laughs> would she oblige? I think so, yeah. <laughs> what, is there something you didn't you like really about her? Ask it like yeah. that. She's, so, she's, she's what, was, what was needed for you guys to go to the next level? Yo, bro, I'm not ready to be in a relationship. For real. Oh, remember that girl heard him, man. Still, no, that, it's that, not the varsity girl. It's not I girl. forgot about the varsity yeah, girl. Yeah, the girl in the varsity who slept with his nah, friend. How old are you now? How old are you? I'm turning 27, 30th of December. Oh, shout out to oh. Nell, he's 27. Oh. Yeah. Bro, if you're not ready for a relationship, it's fine. They're not easy. You know, they're nice, they're worth it, but also you need to find the right person. You know, it's not like a t-shirt and you've got a size, you just wear it, youngling on. It's a relationship. People are complex, so take your time, man. 
Don't and let Mac pressure you, you know. Why, 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 Arrangement works, but the relationship just doesn't work. Yeah. It does happen sometimes. Yeah. No, no. Sometimes I think I'm, I, I speak from a perspective of what I feel. Like I've just never, I'm always saying I need to be in a relationship. To what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your ideal woman? Your ideal woman for now? I don't think I have an ideal woman. Mm, mm. Uh, My chef, do aunt, his body. Aunt, aunt I, a good example. Most ladies mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you always say you wanna you wanna let's, be like let's package nah. this woman, yeah. You always say you wanna no, be I like nah. Like, I didn't say I wanna have what Naga has. Oh. Yeah. No, not like that. Yeah. Oh, so you, you, wanna, wanna, you wanna be like Naga in other way, man. No, no, no. <laughs> not like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Oh. I, no, I always tell her that Naga inspires me, you know. Whoa! It's a, it's a very, yeah, I'm Naga's a yeah, solid yeah, that's like man. Yeah, that's yeah. he's I'm charming. <laughs> yeah, he's a provider, he earns well. Yeah, that's what so I tell it her, seems right? and he's cute. He's Organized, he's disciplined, he's doesn't. Handsome. Yeah, like. He's everything. Yeah, he's a, he's a model dude. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about me, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, your liver's giving you problems. <laughs> You're short. Come on, man, man. You know? <laughs> okay, can, okay, no, let's ask Tata. Tata, can you describe Naiwa's ideal woman from being a friend with him? Because he's not going to say much. You saw. Mm. Um, I I would say I don't know because Neo only Uti and Agana type. He says he doesn't have a type. No, you do Neo. And yeah. then I know. Yes. What's oh. Neo's type? Uh, Fat checker has the fans. Fat checker has the fans. What's his type? What's Neo's type? What's from Neo's what you type? Okay, okay, okay. Neo's let me just see. Okay. Ask me in the chat. Yeah, no, no. Ask me in the chat. I'm on the panel. Ling Ling. Is it Ling Ling? Yes. I don't remember your type. Yeah, I know the face. From the I'm a pin on your face. I know that. That's his, that's no, his crush. No, she's a spec. I understand. She's I a spec. I would say it's a tie. I have a spec. Yeah, I understand. Tina, we don't have respect. No, spec. Spec. Oh. How is spec? Spec. <laughs> <laughs> you should, do, you have one, do you have one spec or fun and I'm on my specs? <laughs> no, I prefer, I prefer one, I prefer one spec. Okay. okay. Well, I prefer, prefer, you know, slenderish, you know. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, six ling was slender. Mm hmm Yeah. And that's it. Smart. Everyone is smart, bro. Everyone, Everyone is, is smart. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Everyone is smart. And Neo, Neo also said you don't like you don't like women with booty. Yeah, I don't like booty. You don't like booty. Yeah, Neo doesn't big like booty. Ass. Whoa! Yeah, he wants to. Yes. Damn. So uh, no, no. To justify <laughs> what I'm saying, man. <laughs> to justify what I'm saying, that everyone is smart. Like when you have conversations with people, um, people have to enable their brains to work. It's hmm. just that you are lazy to do that. Everyone is capable of doing that, you know? So if you're going to have a conversation with Spirit, mm -hmm. and... Let him cook. His side of the conversation will buffer. <laughs> Yeah, he'll start yeah. a conversation with Buffer, but I you'll saw. get the eventually. Yeah. 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 Then it's 90%, 100. So I'm, I'm full on each other. And I'm saying this genuinely. Spear is actually a very smart guy when you have a conversation with him. Oh, definitely. But now he comes as, as if he's very funny, you know. Sometimes he likes yeah. making jokes and stuff. But if you're going to have a conversation with him, you can listen that this guy's actually very, very smart. He reasons yeah. and everything because it enables his brain to do that. So you're, uh, so you know, one it. of those people that uh, fall in love with people's it's minds. Mind. Yeah. Heposexual? No, no sapio. 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 So you're sapiosexual. Yeah. I would, yeah, I, mean, I would say that, maybe, yeah. What do you talk about after. He uh, rocking Pillow talk What do you talk about? I wake up and go in 82 <laughs> <laughs> But let's be honest Niggas don't do you pillow talk <laughs> Niggas don't do pillow talk Oh, I don't lie You pillow talk oh, After man. a nice round of sex Oh, my baby After a nice round pillow, of sex Pillow talk is what gets us in trouble, my dog After a nice round of sex, man <laughs> I mean, this one Am I like? Relax. Sometimes. Yeah. 
podcasting in bed. I'm podcasting in bed. Because they're my life. No, no, that's true. The pillow talk is wild, right? Yeah, but you know, but uh, also sometimes you just, it's, hey, because the sex is so good, you just have to sleep. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Dude, what, what, what did Robert Mudd yeah, just yeah, say? Yeah, more often. It's just. Uh, did you guys have pillow talk? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Robert Boy's marriage. Did you guys have pillow talk? <sighs> Like Strabonguenza, E, Mofire, Pink. E, Tutu Tron. Because, like I said the last time, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he just took a shot and he left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there was no time. I believe Okay, that. with your previous experiences, of, how's the pillow talk? There's pillow talk, right? Yes, there is, yeah. What's the pillow talk like? Different things, because if you're in a relationship and then... Sometimes you talk about what you want to achieve in life. Yeah. Sometimes you talk about what your friends get mm. up to, mm. you know. Mm. Sometimes it tells you that, hey, my friend cheated, you know. So pillow talk, So Robert you're right. cheated? Ah, oh. No. Oh. But sometimes, Mac is right. Sometimes it does get people in trouble because you share pillow a lot talk during is, pillow is, talk. Pillow who, talk is dangerous. Who, who gives or who makes for better pillow talk, men or women? Oh yeah, you've been with both. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, I just say, I, I, I'd say men. Nah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, dog. Because you find out things you like. Niggas are like, after you go you, on. after they bust. Niggas are yeah, dog. Yeah, man, I just want to. They tell it all. Re re rest till. Nah, bro, it's me. Mang mang ang namal, unga mo na nje, ang namal. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Man, must like, come on the podcast. <laughs> it's time. Yeah. It's time. It's time. <laughs> For pillow talk. <laughs> like. Anyway, Penduka, any else, anything else you want to talk about, my dog? Nah, nothing. Uh, shout out to Tuso Pala. He, he, Bro, you can't say nothing and then just <laughs> <laughs> No, I remember. I'm like, you I'm like, do it or not? No, yeah. like, nothing. Yeah. I'm nothing, like, nothing. But, uh, nothing. <laughs> No, I just remember, remember, shout out to Tuso Pala. He, he's like the only footballer who's admitted to having lied with his age, you know? And I think yeah, that's commendable, deserves a shout out. And did you hear Heavy K? Hey, Avel. Serious? Avel, boy. That song, Ulele, Ulele. You know it? You were vibing to it, funny enough. Oh, yeah, before we started. Ulele, I was simply so into it. I don't know, though, man, because he posted it. When he posted it, he put a caption of, and I think you're doing the song on Injustice when you're going to say, um, don't choose a December song just as yet. Because oh, then you're pitting it against yeah. monsters of other yeah. songs. Yeah. like And the people Brad. must decide. Yeah, let them just drop it, bro. Yeah. But it's a fucking amazing song. With something so Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Man. Shout out to Mac Lopez. Remember we did uh, songs I put my name on volume one? Yeah. Yes. As we speak right now, Mac Lopez is gigging in Qatar because of that EP. Oh. Wow. Shout out, man. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Has he, has, he, has he opened the bakery in Zirast? He said it was, no, 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 but his goal a, was to open the bakery. He's got a car wash Chisanyama vibe there going on. Oh, beautiful. Okay, yeah, shout out. There's a gig he's doing in December. He wanted me there, but we're not around. Oh, damn. Oh. Shout out to Mac Lopez, yeah. man. Uh -oh. Beautiful, bro. Oh, uh, nice. Songs I put my name on. Mm. Rocky, man. Yeah, mm. nice. Hey, so the kids are in the mix, you'll see. The one we're dropping on Saturday. Yes. The kids came, bro. There was like fucking 20 of them, bro. Those kids are so talented. Shout out to the, the guy's producer what? is Sir. Yo, this guy's going to be huge, bro. Kid you not. So Remember like how I spoke about Mac Lopez last year? Yes. Yeah. Sir J. Loot. Yeah. Oh. Watch out for him, dog. Yo. Nice. They do like five songs a day and they record Kom Kuku, Poison. Whoa. Oh, wow. They don't even have the, the, the proper sound system. Whoa. But the music is insane. Yeah, He's got three what, songs the on the case. EP. That's always the case, generally. Yeah. <clears throat> He's got three songs on the EP. Wow. Yeah. Shout out, man. Sir J. Lutz. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Ghost Lady, anything else? No, no. I saw when you say uh, 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 Tuso, Pala, the soccer player. How old is he then? So what's the what's what did he say? He was what age and then how old is he? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. yeah, but he he there was, there was an interview he did where he admitted to having faked his age. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Fact checker got something. Um, on the articles, it doesn't clearly state exactly how old he is, but it states that he stated that he was 37, but he isn't. That he retired at the age of 34, but he mm -hmm. states that it was not true. 
Okay. So, Penduko, it is yeah. time to fund a chiller. Let us fund a chiller. We are getting somewhere, man. Last year, last month, we had about 20, it was about 20K, ne? Yeah, 20K. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So, this month, we have raised 30,154.99 oh. rand. Oh, <laughs> so if you're a chiller and you want to help other chillers, make sure you become a member. Because what we do is every single month, whatever we made for membership, uh, we take it to the chillers nice. and we help other chillers because we need to find chillers. So how many chillers are going to be getting? How many are going to win? Oh, today? Yeah. It's two. two. We've got two. So the first one is Tsecho Fato. He was recently diagnosed with severe visual impairment. And the reason why we don't have them in studio, which is really nice. I like that element. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really love to have them. Even the chillers, they can see their lives. They change, well, their lives they're making a difference in. Yeah. yeah. We couldn't have them because they're out of the province. Oh, so they're, from, okay, cool. they're not from Joburg. Yeah. But uh, Tsecho Fato, recently diagnosed with severe visual impairment. Uh, 24-year-old Tsecho realized the importance of having a white cane for those who suffer from visual impairment. Yeah so that they can still maintain their independence and quality of life. She would like to use this money to donate white canes to some underprivileged individuals who live the visual impairment life. What is white canes? Do you know? It's the walking stick. It's walking stick. Oh. For the blind people. There's a oh. shang us like. Okay. Yeah. You don't need funding for your stuttering. Uh. <laughs> we'll give you a nice starter pack <laughs> of 30,000. <000. laughs> Start a, start a pack. <laughs> <laughs> to help you. <laughs> Don't take the zeal, Don't take the zeal, boy. Come see. on, man. <laughs> Apply it, Don. Ah, yes, indeed. Tako Fato. Tako Fato, hello? Hello? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think it's not on the roadcaster. Okay, cool. It's on the phone. Tako Fato. Hello? Hey, Hi, can you hear me? How are you, Teko Fato? Hey, Teko Fato. Hi, I'm good. How are you? We great, man. You're live on the podcast. Soul hello, is here. Hello, Ghost hello. Lady is here. Everybody's Hi, here, Fato. man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we are calling you to let you know you have won yourself 15,000 rand. 15,000. Yeah. 15,000. <laughs> Thanks to Fund a Chiller, man. <laughs> We got your request. We got your email. All about visual impairment. What are you doing with this fifteen thousand? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh Lord! Okay. Um. Thank you so much, podcast angel. This is um. This is really huge. This is really big, and this money is just not for me. It's for people living with disability to aid them with assistive devices for them to be able to, you know, um get out of their comfort zones and just, you know, live their lives as well. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. So, <sighs> my, my question is, for all the guys that are visually impaired, why are you going to be No, say, we feel it. We feel it. So, are, are you also visually impaired? Yes, I am visually impaired. I am partially sighted. Wow. wow, man. Were you born this way or something happened? No, I was not born this way. Something happened along the way when I was growing up. So, yeah, around the age of 9, 10, that's actually when my vision started uh, deteriorating. So with this 15,000, roughly how many people, and are they all visually impaired? Because I heard you talk about disabilities. Are there other dis disabled people apart from visually impaired that you're helping? And how many people roughly are you going to be able to assist? So uh, right now I'm actually just focusing on visually impaired people because, I mean, there's a whole lot of um, disabilities. There's a variety of disabilities. So, so right now the one that actually hits home right now is visually impaired because I suffer from the same thing. And, oh, my word, um, wow, as many people as I can help with the 15,000, to me it's, it's all about helping them. It doesn't matter how many people you know, get assisted, whether it's five, whether it's 10, whether it's a hundred, as long as they are assisted, it, it really melts my heart where, where, and it brings joy to my heart. Where are you from? Where are you from? So I'm all the way from Rustenburg in the Northwest. Oh, okay. Cool. So what happened when you were nine? What happened? Oh, 
I, 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 I really don't know what happened because also my parents could not really figure out what was the problem, what was going on. And around about 2015, I went to an ophthalmologist in Sasselberg and they, you know, did thyroid tests and they came back with an answer for us that I suffer for, from a condition called um, night blindness, basically. So basically in my retina, the, the, the part of the eye that actually allows you to see whatever is in front of you, um, that is distorted. So there's like little dots in my, in my retina oh, that's like oh, actually preventing me from actually seeing, oh, that's actually a door, that's actually a chair, or that's actually something else, you know? So, yeah. So uh, how blind are you? I know you said partially blind, but like if I stand in front of you, what can you see? <laughs> Well, yeah, how blind are you? Like, you know? no, I think what so you mean is like the percentage of your side. Like, with what percentage? Yeah, like, well, how much can you see? Who blind? That's all you need to do. Who blind? No, it's just partially. No, no, so partially. Partial, partial is different. I don't really know. Yeah, it is different. I, I wouldn't really know the percentage of it. I think, like, you know, medical doctors would be able to actually confirm the percentage of my sight. But if you are standing in front of me, I can't see you, so I can't see you, Maggie. But if you're standing from a different, from a distance, then that becomes a bit of an issue. Oh, okay. Please, please help Saul as well, because he's also partially blind. <laughs> yeah, I've got a big, black, big cane. I need a white one. You know? <laughs> A long, skinny white one now. <laughs> Shout out to you, Th- Thank you so much for the love, man. Shout out. Thank you, thank you so much, podcast. Thank you. Thank you. I really, truly appreciate it. You guys are doing amazing. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Oh, yeah. Man, she's oh, leadership, you. man. No, like, it's she's so powerful. Leadership. She is. Yeah, the blind. All right. The for- blind. <laughs> <laughs> she's blind that walking canes for other blind people. <laughs> So it is, it is a blind yeah. music blind in a, in a good way for the first time for the first time on earth in a good way the blind lead the blind in a good way she's an example shout out to Hopato alright oh man we love her. Uh, we're about to call Kia Mojeto Kia Mojeto he's a 27 year old who was recently diagnosed with kidney failure oh. Since his diagnosis, he has had to travel from Bumalanga to Pretoria for dialysis weekly mm. while waiting for eagerly hoping for a kidney donor. Mm. Uh, the Fund at Chiller Prize will help to ease the financial burden on medical funds and transportation. Oh, Let's awesome. call them, man. Yo. So it's not the same thing as... Uh, what's that lady? Lady Zama. Uh, Zahara. 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 Oh, that's liver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's liver. She Shame, man. Yeah. Zahara's in the hospital. ICU are here now. Okay. Liver's giving her problems, man. Hello? <laughs> Hey, how are you, my brother? Hey, you live on podcast and chill, man. So Penduka is here. Ghost ladies here. Everybody's here, man. How you doing? Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. I'm very good, my, my big guy, Vena. It's great, man. We are wow. calling you to let you know, thanks to the chillers, you are going to receive 15,000 rands this month, my brother. <laughs> Asta Shane. Oh, no, no. Hey, 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 my guy. Hey, Becca. Are you kidding me now? <laughs> this nigga. That's why I'm going to take my kidney level. I'm going to let you You're sick, man. What are you killing me? <laughs> uh, bro, so you got a kidney failure, yeah? Yeah. I just got diagnosed with kidney failure on the 25th of May. Wow. So, what does that mean? Please, yeah, say, please explain, man. I'm not really too familiar with. The, the kidney failure thing. Okay, uh, okay. Um, it started off as a flu. Ne? Me thinking it's flu, um, um, I went to the hospital. They tested me and thought it, it was TB. Can they know, man? Um, um, it's nothing like that. And then the GP said, because they were treating flu because they got all with shortness of breath. Um, um, Kira, can I just hold them legs? I'm sorry. So, what does it mean when so, you have a kidney failure? Like, you can't, what can you not do? Because I know with the liver failure, it's the alcohol mainly. Okay. Mm. Okay, with this kidney, um, your, your kidney uh, works uh, as a filter. Yeah. It's supposed to filter toxins, uh, your, your blood, water, and stuff. So, I couldn't urinate. 
uh, yeah. couldn't do certain things, man. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, man. Are you Since constantly yeah, in pain, yeah, man? Yeah. Now, now I'm only recovering from from uh, operations. I just had an, a kidney, a kidney biopsy. They 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 cut out a small piece of your kidney and uh, t- go test it out yeah. at the lab. Yo. Yeah, and, and, and then so uh, that that operation led led to the other one because the, 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 they were supposed to put a sort of a drain to drain the abscess from the 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 kidney after operation. They didn't do that, so. I started having infections and stuff, so I went back right. uh, uh, up and down to the hospital. So, yeah, I'm only recovering now. So the 15,000, what's it going to do for you? For transport, actually, I need to go for dialysis uh, twice a week. I go on Mondays and Fridays because there's no uh, renal or, or, or dialysis unit here, here in Pumalanga where I live. So I have to go to Hamaskal from here. Oh. Uh, uh, so on and so on. But Every week, twice, twice a week. To to save your life, how much would you need? Because it sounds like fifteen thousand. Yeah, it's a drop in the ocean. Yeah. It sounds like a lot. The medical procedure. Uh, actually, I actually, uh, I actually need a kidney, man. Um, oh. I just need a kidney to save my life. I need a kidney. Mm. If there's yeah, a China wants um, to find a kidney, please call Kia. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. What goes into you finding a kidney? Obviously, there needs to be donors, and within those donors, there needs to be a match, right? What else? Um, there, there, there should be a workup. So if 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 there are any volunteers, um, they will have to. Call. We'll 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 make contact with the doctor, and then yeah, we can we can uh, check what's up. I don't know the procedure as yet, but I know that uh, it will be through my doctor. All right, cool. Let me let me say your number out. So in case there's a chill out there, we might want to help you, you know? Yeah, in any way. Yeah. Uh, 079-512-3201. That's 079-512-3201. That's Kia's number. Yeah, Ned, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Sir. I'll talk to my mother. Her kidney is fresh, fresh, fresh. She doesn't drink. She doesn't do anything. Yeah, that one is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need that one. We need that one. It's fresh, my man. It's brand new. <laughs> Shout out to you, my dog. Peace, fam. Keep fighting on, man. We no, got thank you, you very friends. much. Shout out to the chillers the and everyone. Best, thank yeah. you very much. Awesome. Oh, hey, man. What are this old age thing? Now you gotta worry about your love, right? your kids. It's not even old age, yeah. dog. I mean, it could happen anytime. It's just literally. Luck of the draw, I guess. Literally, it can happen to anyone, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Like, we're so lucky. I mean, imagine at nine, you're being told that you're losing your eyesight. Yeah. And you can't attribute that to any lifestyle decisions. Literally, it's yeah, just it's we're so lucky cute. when we, we, we're we healthy like this, you know? So, guys, this Fonda Chiller, you can see, man, this is like some powerful shit, man. Yeah, it's It's, it's really helping. Man, chillers yeah. helping other chillers, huh? Bro, man. it's hmm? beautiful, beautiful. Can I submit? Uh, what, you want height adjustment? <laughs> What procedure do you need? <laughs> That's the obvious one that you need. You know we can do that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like uh, yeah. adjust your height. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can. That's be a procedure. Taller. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So what do they do? Like, how do they make me taller? Uh, yeah, they put some stuff in your in your bones. Yeah, literally. Whoa, man, that yeah, doesn't they sound. Break you augmented somehow. Uh, yeah, 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 then, yeah, yeah. It sounds dangerous. It, it sounds, doesn't sound. Imagine worth... I'm running, but the one leg is just. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. Okay, but but you wanna you wanna participate for what now? My liver, man. I've been drinking since I was eighteen, dog. I think I'm heading to Zahara stage. No, uh, you. So I stopped drinking. Ah, uh, when the chillers party. Oh, Who was drinking? Oh, Who was drinking? Punching him in the liver right now. <laughs> Hey, bro, you need to stop, man. It's that shit. No, that's why I take breaks. That's why I take breaks. But also drink water, man. You know, balance it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I try. Yeah, I, I, can't, I, I, you know, find solace in the, the no, water. No, for, for for me, it's the gigs. The gigs fuck me up. So that's why even next year I'm thinking of canceling gigs, man. Yeah. Well, if it needs to go there, bro, your health needs to come number one. Nah. Yeah. If it needs sure. to come, how would you feel, ghost different... lady? If I cancel, no more. Uh, 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 because she always comes with me when we go to... <laughs> yeah, when we go in to, Mainland, yeah. Uh, rockets in rockets Mainland. How would you feel? No more rockets in Mainland next year? No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll have our own uh, rocket states. You know, we'll just find a way. <laughs> and you, is there anything you would uh, change? Me? Mm. Um, I don't know. Any operation you want to have? Go under the knife? Yeah. 
You said you don't yeah. like your bum. Do you want to increase no, the no, bum? No, 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 no. I never said, no, nah, I saw my bum. I said, I'll do lipo. Yes. So that I can have, no, 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 the bum, I'm not into having a, the, you like the your BBL. Bum? Yeah, no, I like it the way Stand it up, is. let me see. I haven't seen oh. you in a while. ฉันหลังกันยิ้มตั้งแต่เลยกูเลยเพลงชิบเบียนุแม็กแต่ว่าเดี๋ยวฉันจะทุ่มมันจ้าใครอยากพิสเกตมีอะไรเพลงนี้
my confidence. I had. Oh, to it j- built. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. you said it broke. Oh no, no. Nah, nah. Oh yeah, 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 my confidence. Yeah. Shut oh, yeah, man. So ah, uh, I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> So Spiwa just told you. No, wrong. but you know Spiwa, my guy. I man. know, Spiwa I know. My guy. You know you've got a lifetime contract here. You can't leave here. Eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's like the starter is helping. It helps the show, eh? It's content, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Boozy, uh, shit, have I ever said your name? You have, no. but once in a while, like yeah. today's month and next mm. month again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like breast reduction. I'd like breast to... reduction. Yes. Yes. You got the breast reduction. Yeah. You know, got a breast reduction. My, uh, my girl. Yeah. Who? Yes. Zozo. Oh, Zozo. Shepherd's niece. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she, breast reduced. Wow. Yeah. Do that? yeah. They're heavy, and yeah, it's just a lot. Let's look at the lady we see who like you choke. Oh. Uh, so what size are you now? What size is this? Forty B. Oh. No, 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 no. no. no there's no forty B. How do you? <laughs> there's no forty B. I'm a C. I'm a thirty six C. Thirty six C. That's yes. big, big. Mm. No, there's there's D, the biggest, and then there's double A, double B, mm. double C, double D, and then there's triple. So triple yeah, yeah, triple A like that. So they go up. Mm. But I'm still with the single letters. I just want to change the way it is, make it more like make it firmer, stand, and then yeah, make them smaller, and then my stomach too. So 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 so, from thirty six D, we're going to. Maybe B or an A. A, I would use the last number. B would be your, what, your 32s, 32B, somewhere there. Do you uh, agree, Tato? Are you happy with this, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, are you always in pain or, like, when do you stop feeling pain because of your boobs? The only time a person with big breasts feels pain is from the back, back mm. pains. But that normally happens like when you wake up and stuff like that. But for me, my biggest situation is also being active. I mean, when you're trying to run and stuff and then your breasts are just there. Yeah. You know, the nicest thing about it is that it's like a table. When do they train. start growing? When you hit puberty. So for girls, okay, for me, it started when I was 12. But yeah, around your teams and so, so they were this big at 12 no no no, no, no. they, they don't just small. shoot out man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just shoot out like <laughs> they, they start so small <laughs> and the time, the time they become bigger mm. and then you have to change your bras all the time and measure them and yeah stuff like that that's <laughs> crazy man so you're walking around with like two uisas <laughs> uh, every you, day you know uisa <laughs> 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 so like do, does that thing still work? Do they still do that thing? Shamdana like Magakula Mabele Gakulu Gumchanyelo. Remember that I remember that thing. Um when my breast started growing, because if I knew Koko, and then and I remember my mom took me to some our neighbor, like a Koko Jom Dalo, who was who lived down the road from us. And she was like, No, I was like, it's it's too late. So I don't know, them, but they just started. I, I, I didn't think understand the concept. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think it works. So they no reduce their breasts. That's crazy, man. Because yeah, you're a dude. It, to us, yeah, they look amazing. But you know you know, I mean? they obviously go through ish. Exactly. You know? yeah. um, like back pains and stuff. Yeah. Can we reduce our balls and shit? Uh, I'm can pretty we? sure we can. Can we? Yeah. Make them bigger. I'm sure. The balls. Yeah. For what, though? For what? Well, you want to make the balls bigger? You want to grow big? I don't know, man. But, but how is it going to help growing them more big? I'm sure there's a guy out there, like, that the balls are so big. Yeah. They cause some discomfort. Yes, yes, you know yes. I mean? I've heard of those um, situations. Listen, man, if you're yeah. chill and your balls are too big, you need to find an operation. We'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> Come through to the studio, pay us a visit, and yeah, man, you know. And then what are you gonna do? Eh? We need to go inside. Oh, chillers will find it. We'll find the the the, the testicle oh, reduction. The, the procedure. Yes, yeah, so they'll find yeah the oh, procedure. Okay. Find a ball. Ah, uh, <laughs> <it's>, yeah. <laughs> 
Actually, yes, there is <coughs> testicle enlargement where they can enlarge your testicles or your penis. But you're right, Ghostly. Why would you want to do that, actually? Yeah, that's just... Because it's, it's not like the dick, you know yeah. what I mean? No, if it's uncomfortable, bro. Some people, man, if it's uncomfortable, like maybe you can't Reducing sit, it, yeah. You but can't run. She said enlarge. You, there's a procedure to enlarge. Why right. would you want big balls like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what do you why, why would why figuratively, yeah, but I mean literally why? Like, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. Yeah. Bro, bro, can you see how much the internet has saved us, dog? There wouldn't be a poppy without no internet, bro. Bro, there Yay. wouldn't be so many things without the Yay. internet, man. Like, oh, the internet, there wouldn't be podcasts and chill. Bro, Yo. you know, without We'd be working at a <laughs> Community station in Northwest. Those the FM, yeah, or like, and nothing wrong with those. But you know, that's where we would be, literally. You know, yeah. where, where do you think, honestly? Where do you think you'd be right now? It's what 20? 2023? Yeah. Oh, I'd be. Would you be at Kaya? No way. No, 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 no. Not a chance. I'd like giving up on radio. I stopped even like doing. You know, and Hill Brother was a radio station there. And I remember one of the guys uh, recognizing me in the streets and saying, I must come through. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I will. But I was like, no, I'm not. Hmm. You know, so I'd be somewhere. Would you still uh, do it, though? I don't like, think I'd be working, though. I, w- I wouldn't be working nine to five, though, to be honest. Bro, what? I could never do that. You were, when I met you, you were doing the T-shirt business. Yeah, Why yeah, were you yeah, doing yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like I said, I'd found someone who was doing it, but had stopped, and the staff was there to do it. And I was looking for something to do and to make a living somehow, and I did that. And when you'd met me, um, I had registered a construction company with a mate of Ooh, mine yes, who was a plumber me, yeah. and in construction as well, you know? So we're you were just trying, to, I mean, you were I was just trying. I was. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I was cementing my way into some into some career somehow. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, but nine to five because I I wouldn't apply for jobs. You know, because I was like, oh man, it's just not me. I wouldn't be able to. You know. But if you would, I, I would so I wouldn't be on radio actually. Nah. If you were to ap- apply for jobs, what would it be? Like what position? Because I remember, be? I remember Naledi and Len set me down. Because they had 95s, right? Huh. When the podcast was just starting. And like, we weren't going anywhere. Mm. They're like, yo, bro, this thing ain't working. Just get a 9 to 5. Get I'm a like, job. no fucking way. Get I'd a job. die. Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> get a job. I can tell you a woman that. was an that. intervention Why? for you. <laughs> yeah, it was an intervention. The both had 9 to 5. For real? Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, hey, yeah. This one must grow up. Yeah. <laughs> yo, you must grow up. Make G. MacGyver. <laughs> you must grow up. Funzo, so what were they Funzo, suggesting? Like kind of marketing, job, marketing, marketing, marketing. Oh, I'm wow. like, no fucking ways. I ain't doing that shit, bro. Wow. I'd rather go home and farm. Learn how to farm or something. Yeah, it's not No true. ways. Nine to five. I tried it once, dog. What did you do? What job did you have? Um, at Crazy. So I was working at Crazy and then they fired me. Né? And then I was trying to work my way back. So they're like, prove yourself. Oh, wow. And they offered me... To do like an operations operations manager for Cool Cats. I don't know if you remember Cool Cats. Oh yeah. Cool Cats from the dancing crew. No, no, no. Cool no, Cats. The, the cool like cool cats. Coco Melon. Oh, yeah. we're the Cool Cats. Cats. Yeah, we're the Cool Cats. Yeah, yeah. Remember the show. So, so it was shot by Red Pepper, mm-hmm. and Crazy was shot by Red Pepper. So I spoke to Cecil, the CEO. He's like, "All right, cool. Prove yourself. I'm gonna give you a nine to five, bro." Woke up Monday, so excited. My call time was at nine. I woke up at six, dog, smelling fresh, looking good. Nice. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking knock this shit out. I'm gonna fucking show them. <laughs> <laughs> You're guiding to be a cool cat. Yeah, I can see that. I'm <laughs> rocky. Get to work at nine. At nine, I'm busy doing running. You know, running around, fetching whatever <laughs> the thing. Ah, uh, boys, by twelve, I was sleeping, dog. I was tired, dog. <laughs> Why, why did they fire you from crazy? Crazy? Mm. Oh, yes. Uh, I had an agreement with um, the, 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 the CEO. Um, and um, he said if my grades... Because I was still in high school. So he said if my grades flunk, then they'll fire me. Because oh. they don't want it to affect my school. Yeah, that's, whatever. That's good. So my grades flunked and then they fired me. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I deserved oh. it. <laughs> if you did well, you could be a cool cat. <laughs> like, yeah, nigga. There's one thing you love, they tell you you're going to lose the thing you love if your grades don't flunk. Why did your grades flunk? Ah, man, it was too much. <laughs> ah. You weren't even having sex in high school. Oh. You were... Nah, but we're rocky. We were rocky, rocky rush, rush, man. <laughs> cool cats. Vibes. What? Vibes. It's vibes. It's vibes. just vibes. It's right? just vibes. <laughs> Quite vibes. Anyway. This is the Podcast and Chill Network. Remember I 
always tell you guys that uh, I'm always right and you should give me my flowers. What? It's it's a shy mode, the song of the year. I guess. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you see Chevy Sheets numbers? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. they twerking hard yeah. those numbers, bro. <laughs> Fuck! There's that shit that they're twerking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weaker rent, high interest rates. Look at that. They even fixed the bakery because that's where the dough is at. Hi, you know. <laughs> 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 You guys must actually like said, let people send photos. All the white people let them send photos to say. <laughs> The subscribers, yes, all the white people, and we'll see how many there are. No, we must have a brunch for white chillers only. <laughs> Talking beers, it's about 22,000 beers per person per year. Yo! No waste, bro, no waste! Like, like this beer? No waste! Yay, yay, yay! No waste! because joining us on the show today is Javi from Betway. Javi, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, honored to be here. <laughs> honored to be here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's also, it. the thing about Orlando Pirates is that, and it's going to get, it's going to be an uphill battle for them the end of this year and also the early stages of next year. Mm -hmm. They should have taken advantage of the previous fixtures that they drew. Coach Peter was shocked at what Safa was offering her, Renard, for the national team job. Compared to... No, compared to what himself. my standard rate is. No, 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 no. Compared to what the standard rate is. Oh. Goal, Alejandro Garnacho. Mm, oh, mm, mm. my God. Garnacho word. is out here, eh? One for the books. Mm. What a goal. What? Can I, can I do something now, randomly? I might uh, get into trouble for this. But I'll tell the team right now, they can pick from any one of the ballers in the comments until the end of the show, or we'll give it a few days. Whoever's in the comments, the ballers will pick them. And from Betway, we'll give you a thousand rand into your Betway account. Whoop, whoop. Ba, 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 there you go. There you go. Question answered. In between that, there's a lot that's happening now. You are the promoter. You are saving your ass. Mm. You posting it's guys in the show. I paid. You posting pops. You posting now conversations, but you're not posting the whole truth. Oh, no you know? wonder you do drugs. It makes sense. You gotta survive. That's that. That's just allegation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York. I saw I witnessed the Kuruma. No, I get you, but can you s safely say you've never won anything fake? Maybe one day, maybe. Maybe you walk on a small level. What I let end the day was, guys, guys. Put your cool to the next charge. But I feel sorry for you because I saw her now when you buy shit. You have to show no. the receipt. Yeah, no, 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 no. He had no, all these no, bags, no. these Louis Vuitton nah. bags, and skins, and skins, and, and no. I was like, shame. Yo, yeah, yeah, it's on now. It's on. Yeah, we just lost you for a second there. Hey, these yeah. fake mics. Right? I, yeah, hey, bye, mate. <laughs> hey, man. What are you doing with the money you were giving you for mics? The female DJs who are pushing a sex appeal more than the art of actually DJing. No matter when we play, we're playing after or before. I'm an OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm a guy, 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 I'm good. I love money, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, I love the yeah. oh. Because I remember once did a meet and greet, gain all 20k followers. What about to have it? At this stage came. Yeah, and I oh, know they were my friends. Oh. Grandma told me, no, I'm scared of the project. Yo, yo, yo. Have you ever heard that before? No. You see, no. <laughs> let's not go there. I want to be like brutally honest. Mm. Yes, yeah. it was me. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And that's okay. Ah, it's okay. Happen. You got paid to kiss him. Yes. He paid you to kiss him. Yes. Kiss and him. Him. Yes. Sign DM to him. Not even DM texted him on some. Tell me when you're ready to fish scene. <laughs> Sorry, Marai. I'm going to say it fell. Ah! How? 
This is the Podcast and Chill Network.